It's the mat work. I'm trying to promote an album, and um, I have an ad spend behind it, and I already have singles that are out that are doing well organically on platforms like Spotify. Would it make sense for me to push, like, all of my ads, 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 Hold up, it was just a crazy noise. I couldn't hear you for a second. You said, does it, uh, does it make sense for you to what? Does it make sense for me to push singles that are already organically doing well, or should I try to push the whole album with the, the budget that I have? I I mean, I always lean towards push the songs that are already doing well, honestly. Like, you want to get the most out of your songs. That's where artists who have less resources hurt themselves by continuing to put something out because it is new. Because what does that mean? Right? It doesn't mean anything. All that matters is if it's new to the consumer. You can't judge stuff based on when you're in marketing. You can't judge stuff based on what you think. It's all about the customer's perception. You said it's smarter to to have something you have already out has momentum. You give it more instead of having a start from scratch, make something new, and then put it out because you think it's new. It's better to see it in the eyes of other people listening. Exactly, man. I mean, at the end All of the day, right. man, you have to give feedback, and there's nothing going to be there's ne- never going to be anything greater than feedback. There's artists. Artists will tell you, like, I thought this song was the one and it just didn't do what I thought it was going to do. And then they'll tell you that I didn't think nothing about this song and then it took off. I got I got videos on YouTube like that. It's so like, man, uh, I'm going to hate having to put this video out, but I got to just go ahead and put it out, whatever. I got to move on. And then someone be, someone be like, oh, man, it's your best video ever. I'm like, yeah, that video. But like, and, and, and it might take off. You, you can only judge for so much your bias because you're on the inside, right? It doesn't get closer than you yourself. So you got to put stuff out and see how it's interacting in the public. And those are the things that you just want to double down and get behind. But that's after you put your music out. I, I mean, after you get out of your your creative process, Like, I don't think artists need to necessarily get so scientific where, I'm only going to do what's making these numbers and now I got to follow this complete process or I got to create this type of song, this type of song. It's like, no, create the type of music you want to and then put it out and then see the feedback and then like, the, you know, you're out of your creative process now. Now you're like, okay, I'm going to read how people react and I'm going to double down where they react. Yeah. How long, how long would you say is a good period of time to push a mixtape, like six months, four months. You said to push a mixtape? Yeah. Um, I wouldn't think about pushing a mixtape. I would think about pushing singles. It's that same, that doesn't change just because you probably don't have the budget, right? When, when we're talking about an excess of a hundred some K, I mean, like people are putting a hundred K behind singles. You yeah. get what I'm saying? So to try to spread 2K over a whole mixtape is not going to give you the best bang for your buck. But if you could push a single for six months, that would be nice and and stretch it, get the most out of it. Now, if you're like, yo, I'm pushing this thing and it, it looks like this ain't the one, then now you make that judgment, pull out, and then do the same thing with another song. 